New world, the Hong Kong you see is an illusion. Our city has broken facets you have never seen and things the government does not want you to know. Last year in March, a 20-year-old Hong Kong boy traveled to Taiwan with his girlfriend and came back to Hong Kong alone. He was found guilty of murdering his girlfriend, yet the Taiwanese authorities were unable to prosecute him because they don't have an extradition agreement with Hong Kong. Therefore, this year in February, the Hong Kong Security Bureau submitted a proposal to amend the extradition law. The proposed amendment would extend the case-based surrender arrangements to cover the currently excluded parts of China. This implies that the government will be able to hand over fugitives to places with which it doesn't have a long-term bilateral extradition agreement, including the mainland China, where the judiciary system is poorly established. Hong Kong people can be prosecuted by 37 extraditable crimes charged by Chinese authorities. Soon after the bill was introduced, it has drawn a tremendous backlash from the society. The Taiwanese Mainland Affairs Council criticized this bill and reiterated that they have never requested for such an amendment. The European Union, the US, the UK, Germany and Japan have already spoken on this saying that I, I thought today's testimony was incredibly powerful. Uh, I think that you have uh, made clear for us the urgency of this situation. Um, and we are on the side of the people of Hong Kong, and we are on your side on this. And uh, we will certainly uh, take your suggestion seriously and, and do the necessary follow-up. Hundreds of petition forms were created by schools, professions, and organizations in Hong Kong to oppose the bill. However, our chief executive, Carrie Lam, refused to talk to barristers in Hong Kong. This week, the petition to the White House already exceeded a hundred thousands of signatures, requiring the U.S. a response to this issue. People are mad because our home is dying. I had lived in Hong Kong for 16 years since I was born. I was raised in local schools and communities until I came to the U.S for higher education. I grew up learning that our city has its own separation of power and autonomy. We enjoy freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, freedom of religions, freedom of press, and so on. This is how we're different from China. Yet our core value is no longer being protected by the basic law effectively. If this bill is passed, Anyone who goes through Hong Kong, no matter you are a journalist, a businessman, a social activist, or just a human being, you could be caught and taken to trial in China. If this is passed, Hong Kong will no longer be a safe place for those who came after the Tiananmen Square massacre, for those who are vocal about social issues, and for those who practice their own freedom of speech. And I would not be able to go back home to meet my family, my friends, without risking my life as a journalist and a social activist. We're combating this, but we need you to join us. On June 9th, no matter where you are in the globe, there must be a place for you to voice your opinions on this. Other than Hong Kong, over 17 cities abroad will have different forms of protest and rallies in against of this bill. The withdrawal of the bill is our bottom line. We are Hong Kongers, and we say no to the extradition law. No, this is no a la loi de l'extradition. Keine Auslieferung an China. Diciamo no a l'extradizione in China. We say no to the extradition in China. Nós falamos no para a extradição para China. We say no to the extradition law. Tobon 
六月九號街頭見。I'm Francis Huy. I'm from Hong Kong, not China.